Thanks, Ashley. Tea farmers will soon have a reason to smile as Kenya Tea Development Agency begins a process that should cut power consumption in tea factories across the country. The deal is thanks to a 5.5 billion shillings loan agreement signed between KTDA and the International Finance Corporation, IFC, to fund the construction of seven small hydropower projects across tea growing areas. Philip Kitani has more. Rising costs of inputs and falling returns has come as a steep cost to tea farmers across the country, forcing them to demand more money from the Kenya Tea Development Agency to make ends meet. On its end, the agency has been looking for alternative ways of scaling down operational costs so as to improve efficiency and also increase farmers' earnings. And now, the agency has signed a 5.5 billion shillings deal that will fund the construction of seven small hydro projects across tea growing areas. On average, individual tea factories spend between 30 and 65 million shillings annually on electricity. But with the new projects, the factories are expected to cut electricity consumption by half, allowing tea farmers to reap from an estimated 1 billion shillings in savings. Our engagement your approach has been a constant reminder that you are working very, very hard for the well-being of hundreds of thousands of small-scale holders who rely on your diligence and your continued support for their li livelihood. The funding is in line with KTDA's long-term strategy of cutting overhead costs by enhancing access to alternative renewable forms of energy. According to the agency, it will take two to three years to construct each of the hydropower projects. The seven hydropower projects will create approximately 2,100 jobs during construction and 60 jobs following commissioning. Each of the power plants will have an estimated capacity ranging from 1.1 megawatts to 6.5 megawatts. The excess power generated will be sold to the national grid, providing farmers with additional revenue streams. This project uh, was supported from the beginning by uh, Copaco uh, because it benefits directly to 350 uh, smallholder farmers and shareholders of KTDA. Uh, it contributes to the reduction of greenhouse gas emission, uh, it increases power generation and the share of renewable energy in, in the Kenyan mix. The 5.5 billion shillings IFC loan will be repaid in 10 years and will attract 4% interest rates. Philip Keitang, KTN Business.